What's up guys, Chris Dips one how's everyone doing? Today, we are going to review the Siberia Extremely Strong, minus 80 degrees Celsius, I guess that's the brand or whatever you want to call it. It's made by GN Tobacco, the same makers of uh, Odin's. I'm going to review this dip, I'm going to talk about my experience at the Masters while playing this beautiful game here, PGA Tour. It's Rory McIlroy's PGA Tour. This game is a few years old, this is the latest game you can get. We're gonna go ahead and start it right now. Whew. Well, there they are. <coughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh. Ooh. It stings the nostrils. This is a battleground! Stings the nostrils. Okay, I'm going to open this one, and I'm going to open, you might as well kind of see how these slims, the comparison between the slim and the white dry portion. I don't know if you guys can see that, but one's the slim, the other one's the white dry portion. We're going to do the white dry portion. We're going to do one this time, see how it is. Oh, ooh, ooh, that burns, that burns like fucking gonorrhea. Not like I've ever had gonorrhea, but I'm just saying it fucking burns. Oh. Woo. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's so pungent. But, uh, okay. As it burns my upper gums, let's uh, talk about my trip to the Masters, and we'll get back to this freak show of a portion. Yes, I know you're not supposed to spit. You can if you want to. But, uh, generally speaking, it's snooze, safe enough to swallow. You're good to go. I'm just not used to swallowing, <laughs> but um, oh wow, my eyes getting watery. They feel like they are, but here we go. This game, let's talk about the game real quick. This is Rory McIlroy's PGA Tour. This game has very, it has many flaws, but there's a lot of good things about it. Um, some of the flaws is uh, you look at my creative character. Looks nothing like me. It's fucking stupid. Your clothing options is horrible. Your features is horrible. Um, the courses you select here are very minimal. You don't get the master in this uh, freaking game. Oh, I feel like my heart's racing already. <laughs> but right here we're playing at, I believe it's Wolf Creek. We're playing Wolf Creek. This is one of my favorite courses to play here. But there's also like Chambers Bay, there's Quail Hollow. They have the Arnold Palmer um, course. But uh, nonetheless, I'm sorry that my box, my box, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> not my box, not my taint. Obviously, I'm in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen here. Um, right there is where you can find your club selection, your yardage, and all that shit. So I apologize for you golf fans out there. But just to let you know, those stats are down there. And you get to see my ugly face in the bottom right-hand corner. But anyways, oh, some guy commented in the last video, don't fucking sneeze this time. <laughs> Dude, the trip to the Masters was a dream come true. And um, I'll also put up some pictures. It's It was surreal. Um, the night before, we got to Atlanta on Monday. No hitches. Flights were all on time. We got there Friday night around, I don't know, 8 o'clock at night. And right across the street, there was this wing stop or no, it was a Hot Wings Augusta or whatever. It was the last uh, final. It was the finals for the final four or not the final four. It was the finals for March Madness. The place was packed. Full of old people, you know, all tourists, because everyone's there for the Masters. I got too fucked up. I got too fucked up, dude. Shots of Patron and beers, and and uh, the CEO and Darcy, they 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 got me, man. They fucking got me. I woke up fucking hung over. But as soon as we parked and started walking towards that golf course, it was fucking everything was gone, done. Like I was not hung over. It was just surreal. The course is laid out. It's like Disneyland, dude. Like, every flower is in perfect position. There's fucking, like, six attendants in each restroom. Oh, come on in, come on in. There's this guy, you know, standing or, or sitting. Standing or sitting, right? You're pissing or shitting. And literally, like, just fucking... Just super... Everyone was super nice. The course is fucking beautiful. Um, a backstory, I golfed since, I don't know, 15, 16. Uh, I golfed a little bit in, in a, oh, not a little bit, I golfed a lot in high school. Um, but after that, you know, I was luckily, you know, living in San Diego with my roommates. They all golfed and, you know, we were weekend warriors. You know, we'll get trash shit face and just golf on the weekends or golf during the, during the weekdays if I'm off. And um, luckily, 
and I moved up here. The CEO and Darcy are big golfers, so we golf a lot. But anyways, the course is fucking crazy. We went on a practice round. We went on a Tuesday, and we got very fucking lucky. Uh, we got to see a lot of players. We got to see uh, Duffner and Ricky Fowler and Henley, and you know, I got some cool shots of Rory. I got some cool shots of uh, Jason Day. Um, and sitting on the Amen Corner. You know, sitting down in the bleachers on the 16th par 3. You know, Darcy, he knew I was hungover, but at that point I wasn't hungover. And there were some multiple times where Darcy looked at me and he's like, dude, you, you, are you okay? <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I'm just soaking it all in. I'm perfectly fucking fine. I'm fucking high on everything right now. It's just, it was amazing. Um, It was, it was a great experience. And, uh... Obviously, the Masters happened, what, a week ago, week or two ago, and uh, Sergio Garcia won the Masters. Man, that finale was fucking crazy. But here's a picture I took, and that's a picture of Sergio Garcia. That was your 2017 Masters champion. We were pulling for Justin Rose, but uh, you couldn't ask for a better ending, man. It, it went over to a, um, OT, or is it kind of overtime, but it went off to basically a playoff hole, and Sergio just fucking nailed it. I understand people who who don't golf and watch golf on TV and they say it's a boring sport. I get it. I'm not going to fight you for that. I, I totally get that it's a boring sport. But if you play it, and trust me, I, I know my sports. You know, I love football. I love baseball. But I can stand here and say golf is the hardest sport to play. You got <laughs> angles. You got the cut of grass. You got wind. You got slope you got to deal with. It's fucking physics, man. And to see a fucking little bastard like Jordan Spieth, that 23-year-old, hit the ball and watching these golfers who are in their fucking early 20s, that's amazing for me. But I'm just fucking nerding off and talking about it with a raging fucking boner, which is weird. <laughs> Not really. And uh, we were there. We were there all the fucking day. We, I mean, we got there at 10, but we were there till uh, close. We walked the freaking course like twice. Um, the beer was like two dollars. The sandwiches, the barbecue sandwiches, everything was like a dollar, dollar fifty. But they kept it kind of old school, like they started back in the day. And the crazy part is, on our drive back, there was like tornado warnings, and fucking Darcy drove the rental car. It's a, it's about two hour drive from Atlanta Airport to Augusta. Darcy was white knuckling it fucking back for two hours, and it was scary, man. It was a hard fucking rain. And sure enough, we got to the airport about noon, an hour cancellation. We got back. Ups could be another hour. Ups could be another hour. Ups could be another hour. We end up with, we end up staying at the airport for like eight hours. But the crazy part is that that storm was so big on Wednesday that everyone that waited fucking years to get a Masters uh, pass or Masters tickets for that round got fucked. Um, they closed down Augusta National and um, everyone who's traveled from all over the world, Europe, Canada, they got fucked. So us, you know, being delayed... We obviously missed our connection. We had to stay a night at a hotel in Dallas. But it was like, it doesn't matter, man. We went to the Masters. <clears throat> Fuck, this snooze is stinging in the back of my throat. Brian, I'm going to be honest with you. That smells like pure gasoline. <laughs> as long as I don't sneeze, baby. A lot of people got fucked, man. And um, we were just grateful. Uh, the weird part about Augusta National is you can't bring your cell phones, man. You can't bring your cell phones in there. You can't bring backpacks over like 10 inches by whatever. So... You know, we all bought our merch kind of early, so unfortunately we were like carrying it around like a shopping bag. I ended up buying like a little tote bag or whatever, but um, it, it was cool, man. We all got our gear. We got flags, as you can see. Hold on. Right there. I got my little master's flag that I got from Augusta, but um, it was a surreal experience, and um, hopefully one day I'll, I'll get to go back there. Oh, shit. I am fucking sweating. Okay. That's enough for the master's talk. Let's talk about this snooze here. All right. I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm going to put it in a slim. Now, the slim and regular um, portions, I guess it, it, it's having to do with comfort. Again, check out Chad, snooby.com. He has full-on depth reviews of, depth reviews, snooze reviews of this. Oh, I hope that's not a mistake. Oh, it burns. It burns this. I feel like Gollum right now. Oh, shit. Whew, okay, the flavor. Um, you get a spearmint flavor. I can tell you right off the bat, it's not mint. It's definitely. Sp <laughs> it's definitely. Sp oh, that one burns. It's definitely spearmint. I'm zinging. Oh, I'm zinging. 
Just feel the aroma going up to the nostrils. Oh, hey, look. Hey, ladies. Find it sexy. My eyes are feeling droopy. <sighs> Holy shit. Anyways, guys. Um, ooh. I don't want to be that guy. The fucking people in the comments the last video. You should do a full can of that, man. <laughs> Holy shit. No, that's not for me. Um, I don't want to be that goon. I want people to take my videos kind of serious. You know, I look like a fucking chipmunk. All right, I'm definitely, um, it's in. Nicotine's in. Okay, now if you never tried Snooze, I do not recommend this product. <laughs> I don't recommend it. I suggest getting something like Etten. Or if you're in the States, get uh, General. General is very mild. It, it, it's, it's good. I mean, but if you're a seasoned snoozer, I mean, fuck, what, what the fuck do I know? Uh, if you want more uh, punch, if you want more nicotine, more of a high, more relaxation, more like you're about to fucking puke, uh, definitely give this a shot. I saw a video on YouTube, and I mean, it was in, I don't know if they're Russian or, or Swedish, but these guys did like a freaking Siberia challenge, dude. Fuck that shit not for me bro not for me but uh definitely oh fuck it's like i'm so <laughs> i'm getting really warm it takes time mm. I, I know the longer i have it the more i'll feel it i've been recording here for 17 minutes so after editing i don't know how long this video is but uh, if you see the scape <laughs> i'm being dis i'm being oh i can't even talk right now um, this is good, man. The flavor's good. Um, what's coming up? Well, in two days, you got Dynamite like Part 10. You got that one, and then you got the finale, and that's it. Just let me know in the comments, after the finale is done, if I should make one giant video, the full campaign. Let me know if that's something you'll be interested in, and watching it from beginning to end, minus the beginnings and the, and, and the, the intros and the outros, and just having a fucking straight playthrough. It'll probably be like, what, two hours? Three hours long, four hours long. Let me know if you guys are interested in the comments below. <coughs> Sorry, snoozers, I had a... Oh, fuck, hold on. Sorry, snoozers, I had a spit there. <sighs> okay, it's hitting me now. I'm going to end this video quick. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, for Monday's video, let me know what dip you want me to do. I got Tough Guy Orange or Gold River Long Cut. Let me know what you guys want to see on Monday. Other than that, guys, you guys know I give away a mud jug in every video for liking, subscribing, and commenting. And this video winner is, boom, right there. Get, me, get a hold of me on Facebook, and I'll ship you your custom draw mud jug ASAP. Like, comment, subscribe, people. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know if you're a golf fan. I'd like to know. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I'll see you in a couple days for Dying Light Part Fucking 10. And you guys all know this. If you ain't dipping. You ain't living. Whoa, 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 whoa. Some of you guys probably might have had a field day with that. I always have to have a dip in every one of my videos. Every fucking single one. So there you go. This counts. <laughs> Don't forget, guys. You can get any of my merch. I got dip hard, game hard, tits, money, everything. My shit's the shit. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Settles in over the putt. They'll take it. That's a par. And then we're going to play a couple games of uh, Rocket League. What? Rocket League, bro. You never played Rocket League, you dumbass? What'd you fucking say? Whoa, 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 Brad. Watch your fucking language, you dickhole. All right, so I got this box here. What's in the box? I'm getting to that. Fucking relax. As I was saying, I got this box for a... What's in the fucking box?